Oogie. I'm doing a long move with pigs. It's somewhat working. Our plan is to get them over to the trailer over there and set up a paddock. We took their paddock down completely. So the plan is to dump the feed out and build a paddock around them. See if it works. We'll keep you posted on that one. Ready? You ready to let them out? Yep. We're gonna let the little ones out with the big ones here. And we're gonna have to watch some fences because it could be really something. Yeah, if we got the big pigs over here, they followed us over pretty easily. We walked them from way over on the other side of that hill over there without any other fences guiding them here, so that worked out pretty good. Dumped out their feed for them. And now we're ready to let them little guys out. Just brought them here to the farm today. You gonna call them out, Ashton? You're gonna go go up in there and behind them and yep. tell them to go on out? You wanna chase them out? Get some fresh feed. Ow. New way of living. They'll be thanking you. <laughs> hoagie, hoagie. I'll come in there with you, Ashton. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. We got one wire poly wire here holding these guys in, so got to do a little training. Well, we ended up sorting these little guys off. They, the big ones were picking on them pretty good. Go slow, Gabe. Stop right there, buddy. Now they're gonna go check a fence out here, hopefully. They haven't trained themselves yet, so we're kind of watching and waiting for them to figure that one out, so. Otherwise, you'd have pigs all over the place. There's one. Pigs really respect electric fence. This one wire we found to be super effective after they get trained to it. Like them pigs right there, we have no issues with them whatsoever. Seems almost as if you can you could have that wire laying on the ground without even being staked up and fence are off for like a week and they probably wouldn't even go out. It's really good. You just get them trained really good the first day right away and don't typically have any issues. But we're just gonna sit around here a little bit longer and watch them eat some crimson clover and grasses and weeds and all that good stuff. This field here, we're gonna kind of let them do our tillage for us a little bit. We're gonna try to move them really quick though so they don't completely destroy it. And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna seed a, a really good cover crop mix. And it also helps to stand in front of them. Sorry about the shakiness, guys. When they get shocked, so then they don't run through the fence. Then they see me here, and then they go backwards. 
there he goes. Takes a couple of those and then they, they get trained. So yeah, we're gonna sit around here for a little while longer and get these guys trained and then we'll be able to let them be on their own and keep them moving through this whole field here. These guys here are living the good life. Hey, they're right pigs. Here comes some more. Maybe them one's already touched it and they know. <laughs> Could be. So we got 11 in that group and six in this group. There's another one I got touched. Now oh, these guys are coming through. Now we're... Sorry about the commotion here. I'm trying to hold my hands out and guard them so they know what, what they're touching. If they don't know what they're touching or they're getting shocked, that doesn't do anybody any good. They don't learn and yeah, it's just not good. But I think they're starting to figure it out, so. Took these guys about a, a good half hour before they really figured it out, it seemed like, so. Here you come somewhere. <sighs> they're really starting to learn here now. Training pigs. gonna take quite a few shockings <laughs> with 11 of them in there <laughs> before they all figure it out because every one of them is gonna have to touch that fence before they figure it out here he comes maybe that one already knows they're putting their chin on it though wish they'd just put their nose on it that one bit on it so he really knows I guarantee you that <laughs> that would really be a good shock It would be much easier to train your pigs for the first time in a yard with a permanent fence behind this fence, but we don't really have the infrastructure of our own, so we just do it the old-fashioned way and do it right out in the field. But we get it done, though, so it all works out good. Well, it's so far so good. I think all of them have gotten shocked already at least once or twice. And they, they mind the fence already. Just kind of walking them around just to see if they pressure it or not. And most of them see it and they stop. It, it only took about probably 20 minutes. Helps to have a couple people, obviously. Especially when you can stand in front of them and let them get the shock and they know what gave them the shock. And... Then in life is good for everybody. It's easy, us, easy for us to move them and they get to have fresh forage and stuff at their faces all the time that way, so. They get to do what pigs do best. So with that, we're gonna head around back home and we got some other chores to do. We take care of the goats and cows and all kinds of good stuff, so. Jordan Meyer and Rochelle Meyer with Cade Meyer and little Gabriel there and Ashton, I think he's up by the truck. The other two are at home with Grandpa right now. So this is Wholesome Family Farms. Everyone have a good day.